well, it's come to the facts now that every political party major one wants to hand our country over to Brussels, hook or by crook. You've got Sir Vince Cable, he's always wanted the people's vote but he wants to honour the referendum, really. Do you think we are stupid? And the people's vote he wants to put on the ballot paper will be either the Chequers deal, which is Remain, or Remain. So Remain and Remain. And he, he's got, he thinks he's got the right to call it that way after he lost the vote in the last referendum when it should be left to those that actually won. Then you've got the Labour Party. Jeremy Corbyn emphasising only weeks ago there will be no people's vote. Now it's all changed. There will be a people's vote. That's what he's looking for if he cannot make the government give a general election if they lose the vote. And then it gets even worse. You've got Amber Rudd, the cabinet minister for the Tories. The Tories have always adamantly said Brexit means Brexit. There will be no people's vote. And now she's saying there is a possibility there's going to be a people's vote. What a bunch of traitors. What a load of scumbags we have run in our country. Scumbags to the bloody top. None of them are fit for office. And none of them deserve to be called politicians. None of them actually believe in a democracy that they're supposed to be making sure is honest and open. It's like living in Africa. That's the kind of sort of democracy they're looking towards. Where, do as I say, not as I do. It's not the way this country should work. And they're willing to hand your country over to Brussels. To an unelected assembly of bureaucrats at the head of it. So why do we need politicians when they do that? Because they'll be making most of the laws. They'll be telling us what we're going to get and what we're not going to get. And I'm not going to harp on about the federal army because we'll be a federal state under a dictatorship. Who would envisage that we would be placed under a dictatorship? Tell that to those who fought in the First and Second World War. And I know some of you Remainers don't, don't want to hear that. Oh, don't bring the war up. But what a waste of life that those soldiers had taken. What a choice when they're lying there having fought for the freedoms that we enjoy today to be just given over to a foreign power. How do you think that is right? Why do you think for one reason that is right to do that? And we know that when we go on to radio stations and TVs, we know when we are being hoodwinked because they normally go to those that come in from other countries to ask, you know, why we voted remain or leave. You know, what what is their point of view from that? We need to consider what they feel. Not consider what the main population of this country feel, but what they feel because it could mean they have to go back. Well, it could mean that we have no say in anything if we get taken over. Just look at our full classrooms with different languages all through them. Look at our hospitals chock-a-block. Try and get a doctor's appointment. Try and get any decent policing. Try and move on your roads. And you're talking about the ports being chock-a-block if we actually go for a Brexit. You can't even move on our roads morning, noon or night. So it's going to make no difference to anybody else. It just makes me sick that this country is run by traitors to this country because that's all they are. And scum is quite a light word to use. I'd like to use a heavier word. But remember this. Remember your history, you politicians. When you go against the British people, learn by history what happens. Because... You're on that teetering on that line where you're just about to go and overstep it.